Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to this week's energy forecast. I'm Sarah Louise, I'm an intuitive and a reader of the cosmic weather and I'm here to share with you my take on what's coming up this week. Yeah, so what energy is going to be around, you know, what the planets are doing, how that might affect you. And my purpose is to help you navigate the energy that is around and take all the gifts that the universe is bringing us and, you know, have the best week. Yeah, take the lessons, take the blessings and yeah, have an amazing week. So this week, it's different. It's shifting, it's changing. Yeah, we are shifting on that zodiac wheel into a new season. We're going from Aquarius into Pisces. Yeah, Pisces season. Pisces is the last stop on that um, zodiac wheel. So it's like this season, this next six weeks, it's like, what do I need to wrap up? What do I need to kind of, you know, leave there? Um, it's definitely around kind of endings, completion, you know, wrapping up this last 12 months that we've walked this zodiac wheel. Yeah. Let's think about Aquarius into Pisces. Yeah. Aquarius is very mind. It's very kind of a um, little bit insular. Um, yeah, so I feel like we're going from thinking to feeling, yeah? Can be a little bit rigid in that um, Aquarius, a little bit stuck, a little bit rigid, but a bit like interdependent, yeah? And as we go into Pisces, it's very much um, flow, it's very much open heart, it's very much dreamer, it's, you know, creation, it's like, you know, where are we going, what are we doing? How do I feel? Yeah, so it's really different energy. And remember, we're in a season for six weeks. Remember, this is the last stop on the zodiac wheel. Yeah, think about Pisces as well, right? Two fish swimming round in a circle, reminding us of the circle of life. There's no beginning and there's no end. And we're constantly kind of revisiting old things with a new perspective. Yeah, that incredible circle of life. Yeah, the yin and the yang in balance yeah the dark and the light that's what i feel kind of pisces is kind of really good at kind of really bringing in the um balance yeah so shifting seasons into pisces season and there is so much pisces energy around this week because as we shift that season we've got this super moon super new moon coming up in pisces so new season new moon total theme is big new beginnings yeah big new beginnings so you're going to find because it's the last stop that we are going on this zodiac wheel you're going to see what you need to wrap up closures endings and then from this super moon start to really kind of focus on what do you want where are you going you know what's the next year like walking that new will yeah start dreaming it. Pisces is a dreamer, so we've got to start visualizing it. Yeah, I can't tell you how important it is right now that we all get real clarity on where we're going, that we clear away that clutter of the past, that we leave what we need to leave behind us. Yeah, because the path might get a little bit wobbly. Yeah, and we don't want to be carrying baggage with us that is going to weigh us down, tie us down, tire us out. Yeah, I've told you a lot of times, yeah, as we come into March, it's pretty funky. There's some big energy shifts happening, yeah? It's going to be a whole new path. So we're on that path, like, we don't want to take any of this stuff with us. That's outworn, yeah? So really wrapping up the old, you know, in this beautiful energy of this super moon, start going, okay, where am I going? What does it look like? What ocean do I want to swim in? Who do I want to swim with? Yeah, and start really creating a clear, defined vision of that. Because this super new moon in Pisces is like, I will shine light on your dreams. Yeah, I will help you. Yeah, you dream it, I'm going to assist you to create it. It's really, it really is. Yeah, so it's like our first big step in kind of really creating a new. Yeah new ways, new beginnings in this new world, in an area wherever it's gonna show up for you, yeah? Pisces, like, they're good with relationships as well, you know? There's a lot of 
you know, feeling energy. So see, it's going to be really dependent on your chart, you know, on your specific chart, how this is going to affect you individually. But on the whole, I'm talking, yeah, big new beginnings. Yeah, so please have create a clear vision under this super new moon of where you're going, what it looks like, who you're walking with, you know, what do you want? How do you want to feel? Who do you want to be? Yeah, and just focusing purely on that. Yeah, create that incredible vision, you know. Allow those beautiful, you know, energies to come in and assist you and support you. Yeah. So I said to you, this month, February, was all about, you know, self-healing and working on yourself. I want you to really get in touch with yourself this week. And your journaling prompts are, who am I? Who do I want to be? What do I need to do? Yeah. And start to really tune in to, you know, who am I? Who do I want to be? What do I need to do to be that? Yeah, and as again, I say to you, clear vision, super new moon, all about new beginnings, setting a new pace. Yeah, it's a beautiful week. There's a lot of flowy energy. Yeah, new moons we love because they set the new cycle. New seasons are great. You know, there's a nice welcome shift in energy. I'm sure many people are really over Aquarius season, like it's been really heady, you know, heady, deep in thought be a little bit, you know, insular, and that's shifting now. Yeah, you're gonna find that you're going back in the flow, yeah? So it's a good week coming up. Do that little bit of work. I am running a live online meditation alignment connection session under this super moon. Um, I believe, as I said, we've got the huge potential to really work with this universal energy to create where we're going with some support, yeah, with some beautiful illumination of light. So, you know, if you feel drawn to, please join that session, yeah. You are the master of your destiny. You are the artist painting the picture. So please be really aware. And if you want a little bit of help, you know where I am. I'll be live online, supporting, helping, guiding. Yeah, so if you're meant to be there, you'll sign up and you'll be there. It's easy. I'll make sure the link is down below and just go straight to the website. Boom. Booking. Done. Simple. And if you can't make it live, it's 7 p.m. on Monday, Brisbane time, Monday night. That's the 20th. If you can't make it live, you get sent a download. You do it as soon as you can do it. I would say preferably as close to that new moon peaking as possible. So have an amazing week. Happy Pisces season. Happy super new moon in Pisces. And yeah, have a swimmingly beautiful week. Lots of love.